What is going on ladies and gentlemen, your boy Jay is here and guess what, today marks just under 30 days until the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins. Now if any of you guys know me, you know that I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Literally the entire thing. Like there hasn't been a single game I skipped. Maybe there's a couple of games I didn't finish because you know I just got tired of playing them. But I that does not does not diminish the fact that I love this franchise and everything about it. I even like the stuff that I hate about it, which we're going to touch on a little bit on today's video. But before we get started, let me know down in the comments section this is a very, very specific question. Okay, pay attention, guys. What is your favorite Assassin's Creed game based on what you believe is the funnest? I don't need a list. I don't need a list because I know a lot of you guys, like, when you guys hear me, like, it really triggered on Twitter or in my live streams, you guys want to be like, Jay, Assassin's Creed 3 is the best Assassin's Creed out of all of them. Da, 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 da. Listen, I don't have time for all of this. I don't need to hear it. Just let me know which one is your favorite based on how fun it is. Now, if you are somebody who hasn't really been too familiar with the Assassin's Creed franchise at all, how about you just tell me which Assassin's Creed you think looks the coolest, okay? And if you haven't seen any of them, just Google them real quick, see, look, take a look at some pictures, and then pick one and be like, Jay, this one, this one looks hype. This looks like fire. And then let me know why you think that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, I'm talking about a few things that you need to know before Assassin's Creed Origins comes out. Now, this is not exactly a list. I'm going to be spreading this out through the rest of the month. We'll have a new video almost, almost every single day. And we'll just, you know, talk a little bit here and there about it. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact that congratulations, Ubisoft. Thank you so, so, so much for taking a year break. They took a year off instead of doing a, a normal uh, install uh, addition to, to the Assassin's Creed franchise every single year. They decided to take a year off this past year. Uh, the last and most previous and, and recent game to come out was Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I played a little bit of it. I haven't finished it yet. I'll make sure to stream it before the game comes out and we'll beat it. We'll probably play, play the DLC a little bit. But I haven't had a chance to play it and beat it, but I've enjoyed the amount that I have played. Like, the kind of, the hook thing is a little OP, and it kind of does a little bit too much, but whatever. I, like I said, I haven't really played too much of it. Probably only, like, 10 hours of the game or so, but that's an exaggeration. It's more like 6 or 7, okay? I got through the first couple of chapters, and I was like, yeah, I'll definitely come back to this, but then the game is still kind of buggy, so it's a little difficult to play, at least on PC. It's pretty buggy, so... Or maybe that's just the copy that I have and I need to reinstall or something. But once again, congratulations. Thank you so much, Ubisoft, for deciding to take a year off and give Watch Dogs 2 the shining light this pre this past year. Because this game needed all the hype. Like, I'm really surprised they didn't put more marketing into this game because Watch Dogs 2 was an amazing game. Like, like on, on a contextual level, like, if you're playing this, this game is woke. That's what I need to say. Like, the only way I can put it is Watch Dogs 2 is one of the... The most woke games I've played in a very long time. It is very self-aware of what type of game it is, who its audience is, and I'd have to say they should have marketed that game and pushed it a lot more because that was a great game. I can understand being on your toes a little bit and being like, you know what, we kind of don't want to screw around, you know, like people really have a bad taste in their mouth about the first game. And really, within the first month that the game came out, it actually suffered a really bad sales because of that. But then shortly after that, it skyrocketed after word of mouth and Twitch, uh, you know, really pushing Watch Dogs 2 really hard. Like a lot of people were on Twitch pushing that game. It was just a lot of fun. Then again, nobody's playing it now because the online is just so buggy. But I mean, it that's that's to be you know to be expected, I guess you could say. But Watch Dogs 2 is definitely great. So I really commend you guys for just backing off a little bit, giving Watch Dogs 2 the time to breathe and really, really stretch its legs and just see how far it can go. Hopefully, we get to see Marcus in Watch Dogs 3, but that's a different video for a different day. So I want to say with this extra time of development. Uh, Ashraf Ismail, who was uh, the game director for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, yes, the most fun game in all of the Assassin's Creed franchise, I'm saying it right now, I'm dedicating the funnest game in the entire Assassin's Creed, like, everything, 
is Black Flag. Like, I, there's no game that I've played that's more fun than that. So I'm glad Ashraf is, is really putting his hand, his foot, all the way to the ankles, to the second kneecap, bro. The second kneecap. Okay, both feet is up in here. All right, he's diving in this mofo, really putting a lot of work. Him and his team are putting in a lot of work to make this a great experience. I really, really, really expect a lot from this game, but I'm also keeping my uh, expectations in check as well. So, you know, them taking this extra year off, really giving it time to breathe and develop and really craft the nooks and crannies. I don't want to see any bugs. I mean, given... A game at launch nowadays, yeah, it's gonna have bugs, but I just don't want the PC version, the port, to be shit. So I'm gonna be getting it on PlayStation 4, and I'm, a, and I'm going to be getting it on PC. So I hope the PC version runs just as good, if not better. That would be great. Thanks, please. I'm hoping. <laughs> so, uh, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about is how Origins just looks amazing. Let's just give a second not that long to talk about the visuals the visuals for this game look freaking amazing like oh my god oh crispy as hell my boy there is no possible way that you can't look at this game and just go look how beautiful this landscape is and egypt like when most people think of egypt obviously they think of like you know sand and desert and all this other stuff bro let me tell you all the luscious greenery and oasis that, that just await you in Assassin's Creed Origins, okay? You can not only go from the pyramids of Giza all the way down the Nile and into, into Memphis, okay? In through and in and out the shops, my boy. Like, this just looks like a, like a just, ugh, just a glorious game. It looks delicious. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It just, oh, it's so beautiful. Anyway, uh, more about the visuals. It definitely... Uh, one thing I want to point out is the is kind of the water like the water situation had me a little weird because I'm like Okay, is it gonna be like black flag water or are we just dealing with like one of the previous engines like unity engine type of shit? Where it's like it looks okay, but it's like uh, it's buggy out the ass like you can kind of see reflections But you can't like I don't know it looks dope it looks dope everything that involves the, the ships and the naval combat and all that other stuff because there is a little bit of naval combat from boat to boat action uh i'm just very interested to see more of it and like at the same time the more i see of the underwater diving and all of the extra visuals and stuff it looks great but it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way like you guys ever get over fatigued like think about it this way Kingdom Hearts 3 hasn't come out yet, and they just keep putting out trailer after trailer after trailer after development trailer, and it's like, okay, I get it, the game is coming out, you don't need to hype me up anymore, this is literally trailer porn, I don't need to see any more trailer porn at all, just please put the game out, because all you're doing is just hyping it up, making it seem like it's way better than it is, and they're definitely putting a lot of marketing in Assassin's Creed Origins, so I, I, I think like that's my biggest fear for assassin's creed origins is that it's kind of suffering from marketing like fatigue like the more you see of it the more youtube ads you see for it, the more commercials the more this that and the other thing and you know youtubers pushing it and stuff like that it just i don't know it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way and it's giving me this vibe like yeah anybody can play this game and it's like ah, i don't know i just i just don't know <laughs> it doesn't feel that good and really the game just it's really got to make a statement here. I really don't want this game to be bad because the last great Assassin's Creed game, I mean, Syndicate was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Unity was shit. Okay, let's be real. Unity was garbage. Okay, garbage, oh my boy. And then before that, the last great game was Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That game brought so many new things to the table that it was like, wow, this can't even be the same game. People were calling it, trying to diss it by saying, this is Pirates of the Caribbean, not Assassin's Creed. But it was dope though, right? You can't sit here and tell me, yeah, this was Pirates featuring Assassin's. I don't know. I like Pirates. I like being an Assassin. This shit was dope, okay? you. There's no way you can look me dead in my face and say Black Flag was not amazing, okay? All right, you just can't. You'll burst into flames. I swear you will. And one other thing I wanted to notice before I go ahead and get out of here, guys, is that uh, there are no more towers in the game. You know, like, those big-ass towers that you have to climb, synchronize at the top, so that way you can see more of the map? Yeah, they decided to take those out. Now, given 
there's still towers in the game, obviously. They're just not required in order for you to see the different areas and stuff. They decided to rip the minimap out of the game. You don't need that anymore because all it really does is you pick up side quests and everything just gets really, really cluttered and it's disgusting and it's just garbage all over the screen. It's not worth it. So they decided to take that out and do what I believe is called a uh what, uh what's it called a compass bar which is at the top you've seen it in games like skyrim and fallout where there's just little icons that rotate when you're looking north south east and west so that's what they decided to swap it for and personally i love it i think it's great it's not gonna get too cluttered i don't imagine like i imagine it's not gonna be too many things on there but we'll see the full game hasn't come out i haven't had a chance to put my hands on it yet nobody's invited me to come and put my hands on it yet nobody's even asked my opinion to come to, to you know about other people putting their hands on the game i'm just sitting back here just watching gameplay trailers of developers and crappy youtubers go and play this game and they don't even know the first thing about being an assassin it is horrible it is horrible watching all the fails and the stealth missions that people just keep ruining this is just ridiculous i can't do it it makes my skin burn Anyway, this has been your boy Jess J. Sama. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what is the funnest Assassin's Creed game in the entire franchise. That's what I want to know. Based off of what was fun, I don't need a list, guys. I just need one bullet point. J, this game is the funnest. This is why. Boom, 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 boom. That's my comment, okay? That's all I really want to hear. This has been your boy, Just J Sama. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you enjoy any of that content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you can get notified whenever I upload or start streaming or whatnot, you know, so that way you get an alert for it. And uh, until next time, this has been your boy, Just J Sama, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it can.